Okay, just checking in on my 130448 spring water up the mountain project. Another dank off pump installation. And I am, uh, my little uh, dry run switch is defective and I'm going to replace that for whatever reason. But with uh, 2,500 gallons of water sitting here, it's not ever going to run dry. So I'm really not worried about removing the switch. We are going to replace it. But in the meantime, just uh, again, following up on a on a project and this is doing a, a lot of work pumping up 700 plus feet in elevation probably 260 feet I believe is what it was okay we're up at the top where the water has come to there's two stages of tanks this is an 1100 gallon tank and we put one of these Joby mechanical valves these are great just if you want mechanical solutions um, this valve is uh, when it's pulled taut here it is shutting off the inlet to this and that then the water is diverted to a higher tank than than this 1100 up to a 2500 gallon tank so that is all handled by this little floating Joby valve you might have seen these in some cattle waters but I've used them in a lot of prepper setups and they're just it's it's hard for it it can't I want to say it can't fail but it's uh, nice to have simple mechanical solutions in your water systems Okay, here's the upper tank I mentioned to you. It's a 2,500 gallon cistern. And the water from the slow pump comes in here, drops in the tank. After it fills the 1,100, the 1,100 gallon tank has to be satisfied first before it'll divert water up to the 2,500 gallon tank. And this one has an overflow as well. So this is a two tank system. And again, pumping a long ways. I don't hear water now it's a very cloudy day so I can't show you no sun no water so that's that's where we're at but I wanted to kind of follow up to uh, spring water up the mountain video and everything's working working great so all done with the Dankoff slow pump two solar panels lots of wire lots of digging and uh, just if you have a spring and it's below you you can lift that water even up to 580 feet in elevation um, just got to spec it out right, make sure your wire sizes are right, voltage drop calculations are done correctly, friction losses, everything must be taken into account before you get into this much work. But when it's done right, it works and it gets water. And uh, just found we do need to cut a tree down. Um, that's another thing you start seeing your solar window in production and you need to uh, clean that up. Okay, just wrapping up the spring up the mountain video. Here's the, well, here's the tank set up got a great uh, insulated manifold house so this tank is used to gravity feed all the gardens the greenhouse below us and uh, to also keep that 2500 gallon tank full on the hill so that's it and it's all done from two pretty fairly small solar panels which I'm taking you to and uh, yeah these were they're all 125 watts, two 225 watt panels. But uh, that tree is killing me. It needs to go. So um, until then, you're not getting a lot of sun, getting a lot of a lot of interference here. But that tree's coming down soon, and we'll have a much better performing system. Panels are set for winter angle. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, engineer 775, getting out of here.